So this Calgary saga just keeps getting better and better every fucking week. Now Matt Kachuk doesn't want to sign. And now Calgary is like forced into a fucking rebuild. Kind of had a feeling this would happen. When your best player doesn't want to play with you anymore, you just kind of like, well, why are we here anymore? Let's just get the fuck out. I do feel really bad for Calgary fans. That must suck. Like, thinking your team's on the up and up. You lose to Edmonton, that sucks, but like you're still like a good team. You could have gone further and then it just fuck it's like what happened to Ottawa almost. Everyone's saying Kachuk's gonna go to St. Louis. That's entirely possible. He's from St. Louis. But if I were Brad Tree living right now, I would just be selling everyone, taking in prospects and picks. Like what else are you gonna fucking do with all this shit? Daryl Sutter will probably retire or something. Why the fuck would he want to go through a rebuild? I got a trade proposal from the Canucks. Tell me how much of a fucking moron I am for proposing this. You give Calgary Connor Garland for Chris Tanev. We bring Tanev home, baby. Now, it's like, why? okay, why would Calgary want Connor Garland? He's like 26 years old. Well, you need someone to play with your rookies. And he is a top six def uh, defenseman. He's a top six forward. He's a little more capped than Chris Tanev, so they would be saving money. And I definitely feel, of course, you're going to have to add a sweetener. You're going to have to add a draft pick. Not a first. Hopefully a third. Maybe a second. Probably a second. Because the connects are going to be better. It would probably be a late second, or a later second. Then boom, you got you got Quinn Hughes's D partner back. The defense isn't completely in shambles anymore, and you could keep J T. Miller for another year and just kick that can down the road and see what happens later on. If you thought Goudreau's return to fucking Calgary was gonna be bad, wait till Kachuk comes back to Calgary. He's already straight up telling you he doesn't even want to fucking play for you guys. And imagine they don't even move him. He comes back while he's still on Calgary. So they're just straight up booing his, their own guy. If anyone even shows up to the game. Who knows? Holy fuck, that sucks. It just feels like years of work leading to nothing. Well, I guess I know how that feels. I feel so bad for Tanev and Markstrom who signed there thinking that they could be on a contending team for years to come, especially Markstrom. But if they're smart, they'd sell them right now. Get a you can be a, you can get a first for Markstrom probably. I, I think next year Calgary is going to be taking on a lot of bad contracts because they're going to have so many cap space. You're just going to take your team's shitty bad contract for a draft pick, basically. Sean Monahan's. Um, contract expires next year so is Lucic that's almost ten and a half million right there is there a Tyler Toffoli curse so he plays in LA a lot of success in LA but then the team goes to shit like it is gonna happen eventually he gets traded to Vancouver the year after that Vancouver goes to shit gets traded to Montreal they make it to the cup final the year after that they go to shit he plays for the Flames. Now look what's happening. Do not ever sign Tyler Toffoli. All Canadian teams too. Well, other than LA. But he had a lot of success in LA. So maybe it's like a Canadian curse with Tyler Toffoli. Maybe he's like a powerful wizard that likes to fuck over Canadian teams. Okay, this is getting weird. I gotta go. Okay, bye.